Hello, everybody. Welcome to Leeds Wine TV. I am your host, Mark Fusco. Um, thanks for coming in for another episode. Yes, I'm recording two in one day. This is actually Wednesday's episode, so I'm skipping a day because uh, yesterday was the pity party. So it wasn't like I just had two of the same shirt. Uh, so what are we going to do today? Uh, we've got the 2007 uh, Two Vines, uh, Columbia Crest Two Vines Vineyard 10 White Wine from Washington State. Uh, so get a little close up on that. Five ninety seven at World Market, and um, so I'm going to try it out here. So I got to rinse out a little bit because I still got the other wine in there. If you haven't watched Monday's episode, talked about some Alsatian wine, and uh, gave it a pretty decent score. All right. So, so I'm going to check this one out here. We went to Walmart Market and bought a bunch of stuff, so that's where most of the stuff's going to be coming from for another week or two. Okay. It smells some funk in here. But just, you know, I don't know, something just wasn't expecting. Um, I'm trying to identify it, too. So it's, it's going to be one of those smells that I probably don't really encounter very often or I've never encountered. So I'm going to be kind of lost for words. That's a first. I mean, it's kind of earthy. No, not really earthy, but I don't know, it just makes me think of, of uh, honestly, now, it kind of makes me think of, like, pasta. Like, just the, uh, I don't know. Now, there's something else in there I can't really identify. It's one of those things that's on the tip of my tongue. I know it. I smell it. You know, it's, it's a food item I'm getting. Now I'm starting to get maybe a little bit of pepper out of it. You know, we're going to cheat. We're going to go to the blot labels. I know they have stuff on there. Yeah, floral for apple pear. You know what? I don't smell any floral aromas on there. Maybe that's what it is, and it's just a flower I've never smelled. All right, well, let's just check it out. guy tastes like some smokiness out of this and I, I don't know I mean I taste fruit um, do I necessarily taste the fruits that they talk about see they talk about apple pear and melon maybe a little bit again a little bit of dairy that dairy stuff You know, I can see maybe some of the pear. I've got some tartness to it, so a little bit of acid, but it's just kind of really not focused. Um, I don't know. It's it's drinkable. I just don't really get anything out of it. it it's, it's drinkable. I mean, this one, Monday's wine, you know, well, it's 10 bucks, so it should be, quote, better because it's more expensive. This is six bucks. You know, it's it's drinkable, but it's not nothing inspiring. I mean, it's only a six dollar bottle of wine. So if you just want something to drink, you know, like, like last night we had some friends over and um, we popped. I didn't drink it, but uh, they popped the other bottle. We bought two of those because it was six bucks and it was Columbia Crest. And this is kind of by request. Um, sorry, I mentioned that. I forgot to mention Dean and Joan in New Jersey. Uh, request I do some Columbia Crest. Now they gave some specific stuff, and actually, actually I think we got one of those wines uh, to do later. Um, this in itself I find uninspiring. I don't really see anything great about it. Um, I'm gonna give it an 80. I think that's my no, that's not my lowest score. I think I gave something to 78. Um, I don't know.
yeah, I just, I don't know. We don't get anything out of it. Now, let's talk about it. I mean, Columbia Crest is actually known to have some good quality wine. Um, it's kind of called the Little Chateau Saint-Michel. It's owned by the same company, but Columbia Crest is 200 miles east of Chateau Saint-Michel. They're sister companies. Um, they have the same parent company. I um, mean, there's a lot of connection with them, to, with the two of them. Um, and, you know, Columbia Crest is considered, you know, a good brand uh, for, for what it is, for the price. Um, I've had other Columbia Crest before in the past, uh, and I've enjoyed them. But, I don't know, I just kind of get nothing out of it. Uh, so, let's just kind of talk about it. Um, where this is coming, Vineyard 10 is considered one of their original vineyards at Columbia Crest. It's fermented mostly in stainless steel. So, I'm assuming there's a little bit of oak somewhere involved because it didn't say... How much oak just said mostly fermented in stainless steel. The website was a little bit vague on some things. Um, they, uh, I was able to get off the label the first three or the main three varietals used in here are Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc, and Semillon. Doing other research, uh, supposedly there's, there's some Viognier in there uh, and so Pinot Blanc. Uh, Viognier is mentioned by NapaCabs.com. I don't know where they got that information. Um, a website called Wine Press NW, so I guess it's Wine Press Northwest. Uh, they they said a wee bit of Pinot uh, Blanc, so not really sure what the percentages are on it, but um, I don't know. I, I probably I probably wouldn't recommend it. Uh, I mean, if you just want something that's easy to drink and cheaper than the one we did on Monday, then sure, get it. Wow, that's loud. Um, sure, get it, but. I'd probably avoid it, and um, I mean, I'm hoping that the other Columbia Crest, I mean, I, I drink it, I mean, we're going to drink it, I'm not going to pour it out or anything, but I probably wouldn't, like, buy it if I had other choices. If I was at the grocery store, and I couldn't really find anything that was in the $6 price range, other than this, I'd buy it again, but if I've had other options at 6 bucks, I, I'd probably buy those. Oh, well, can't, can't be batting 1000 Anyway, uh, this is Wednesday's show, so tomorrow we'll have Sommelier School. Uh, we'll start delving a little bit deeper into Burgundy. Uh, then I'll take Friday off as usual uh, as far as any type of recordings. But we'll have the Sales by Five pity party. Uh, um, this coming Friday, we've got Papulis coming back. Um, they're going to bring some lamb, bring some Greek wines. I'm really, really looking forward to that because uh, I haven't had any Greek wines in a long time. I only had a couple of them and uh, cannot wait to try those things. And uh, that's going to be it. Uh, Hopefully uh, that's going to be a great experience, and uh, we'll see everybody again next time. Thanks for stopping in.